I could tell you each and every part of that journey from memory. I could tell you where the tracks winged at the bend, where the wind blows due to a break in the trees, the first corner you turn when you see it, miles away and covered in fog, but unmistakable. The tower, I felt like I didn't have any agency, just being forced back and forth along that hellish track to Dalmatia. The worst part wasn't the screams, but the silence, because in that silence I only had myself for company. Me and my thoughts left to bask in an eternity while we contemplated my place in hell. Each and every day I told myself that I'd do something, that I'd quit, leave, never look back. I never did. I kept getting paid and I kept going home, and that's what the worst part is, the living with yourself. It's not the knowledge that you're having a hand in the murder of so many people. It's the fact that you can still sleep at night. I close my eyes and all I can see is that tower of ash, floating skyward against a red sky, then the raining down of a thousand souls, dancing in the wind. I'll never forget the way it burns your throat as you try and breath, a taste of the hellish sulfur that's to come, the way it forces tears in your eyes. There comes a point where the faces of the people you've wronged become too many to recognize in a dream. They merge and they change and they become all-consuming. No longer recognizable individuals, but an entire consciousness within your thoughts. I was once on the path when it began to snow, and from behind me I heard the lauter of a child as she reached her hand out and let a snowflake fall onto her hand, melting into nothing within a few seconds. Amidst all the screams, the curses, the cries, the sound of that lauter was the most haunting thing I have ever known. I won't beg for forgiveness. I don't want it. I don't deserve it. Whatever is coming for me after I die, I embrace as inevitable and just 